Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is AI Behavior Tree Selector Node? I have an example here. We're going to cover the selector node and basically how it works and what it's intended to be used for. So our selector node is one of our basic composite nodes. The intention of it is basically to do something based on a decorator task or a service that you have running on it and then run the tasks underneath it from left to right and it will only run the one that succeeds. So it will start with this one and if it succeeds nothing else is going to happen. But if it fails it's going to go and run the next one. It is selecting a valid task. Now if all of them fail then the selector node itself will fail. If one of them succeeds then the selector node itself succeeds. Now you may be asking, well, why does that really matter? Keep in mind, a selector node can be connected to another selector node. So if we did something like this, and then we hooked up here, and then we did another selector node here, this would matter in terms of failing and succeeding. This selector node is going to fire, which means it's going to go from left to right and fire these ones. And if one of these fails, it's going to fire this. If one of them succeeds, it's never going to fire the one on the right. Remember, the selector node only cares about if something succeeds, and it will never fire anything else after that. So let's see this in example. Let me hook this up, and let me go ahead and run this. Now if I run this, and I go back to here, we're going to see the selector node firing, and it's firing off a wait task of 5 seconds. Now if you watch every 5 seconds, it's going to quickly flash as once this finishes it reruns from the root refires the selector node and then reruns the wait node now of course we're never going to see the move to work because this one's always going to succeed if we were to reorganize and hit save you're going to notice our indexes which is a one and a zero are going to change now it's going to fire the left node first which is our move to and then the wait node second assuming the move to fails. If we run this again, then we hit play, go back into here, you're going to notice our wait node is firing and this one is not. You also notice every five seconds it's going to try to do the move to again and it's going to fail and fire off the wait node. My move to currently for this example is set to find the blackboard key player location and move to it. Now since I'm never actually setting it, it's going to fail every time for our example. Now our selector node itself usually has decorators and services attached to it that allow you to determine what it's going to do. Decorators and services are handled in other videos, but let me just show you how this would work properly using a proper service. So in this case, we have our service, which is going to set our player location every half a second. Now if we run this and then we go back to our behavior tree, we're going to notice, well, it's still failing. Well, it failed because our initial move to location wasn't set the first time we came through, which means it ran our wait five seconds. After half a second, this service was ran. It went ahead and set our player location, which means the next time we came through, if we look over here, we find our players now sitting next to us, our AI because the move to was successful. If I was to take and move our little guy over, we're going to find him follow to the location like we expect. And if we check out our behavior tree, we're going to see it's working like it's supposed to. It fires the move to. Once the move to is successful, it's going to go ahead and fire the wait if this fails. If not, it's going to keep doing the move to. And with the way this is set up, it's set to de it's designed to fail every half a second so that way this will get fired. So that is what the selector node is used for. If you want something to happen, it doesn't necessarily mean everything has to happen. You want something to happen. Maybe you want to check to see if there's a player. Well, that's a, that would be a service. Let's say you want to do something like this. You want it to move to a location. And if there's no valid location, you want it to wait until it can do it again. But you want it to do something. You don't want it to just sit here and hammer 
Like for example, if we moved our wait node and I hooked it, and then we went ahead and set our move to location to fail, and we ran this, what you're going to see is it's going to run constantly. Blackboard root runs the selector, and if you notice it's flashing, it's because it's constantly, every tick, trying to move to an invalid location, which we don't want. We want, if this fails, for it to do something else. That's why we have the selector node. So when we actually run it this time, it's not going to continually hammer our AI every tick to try to do something. It's going to say, hey, you know what? We screwed up. Let's wait five seconds and try again. And then hopefully the player location will actually work properly, and boom, we're good to go. So that's what our selector is for. It's a left to right. If something succeeds, it never continues. If something fails, it continues. If you have any questions or comments on a selector node, please feel free to leave them below.